Now when you bring different models together, sometimes their origins are in different locations or they're aligned differently as far as the rotation axis that they're set to. You can easily adjust that here by going into the properties of a specific model. Let's go ahead and open up the properties of this architectural model. Here we can go ahead and change the position by entering in the feet and inches value or millimeters in metric. Let's go ahead and say that we'll offset this by 20 feet. You can simply enter in the numerical value. Let's do 10 feet in the y direction. And then when you hit enter or you change the field, it actually will update the placement of that model. Let's also change the elevation. If we'd like to reset the placement to the default origin that it was set at originally, we can just say Reset Placement. We can also move a model by snapping here. In this particular case, we're going to move the model by picking a start and an end point. We'll activate the Move command. We'll pick the first snapping point, then the second, and then you'll see that the architectural model completely moves down. Now in this particular case, let's do a rotation. I'm going to go ahead and toggle between perspective to orthogonal mode. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the rotate command. I'm going to first pick an origin point for the rotation. And then I'm going to define the first axis in which I'm going to reference from. Then the second point, or the, sorry, the third point that I pick is then going to be the rotation axis. And you can see here that it's showing an arrow icon in the direction that the model will rotate. When I do this, we'll see here that the model was then rotated 45 degrees. We can also adjust the orientation of a model by picking alignment axes. We'll go ahead and activate the align command, and then I pick two points to define the original alignment axis, and then the second set of uh, points which represents the orientation that I'm going to align to. Now you can see here that the model has been moved and orientated to the second line I've picked.